What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another modern critique here on the internet. This deck needs more gifts. <clears throat> There's two gifts right here, man. That's plenty of gifts. You don't even know how gifts work. So this this was this was a uh, this is a suggestion by Sarah C, otherwise known as Sarav Demir Master now, as her uh, Demir overlords have uh, instructed. And this is basically a modern deck taking advantage of Godfaro's gift and gate to the afterlife, which is pretty sweet. And um, <clears throat> it's very you know it's like similar to the standard list, only you have better creatures like Thrag Tusk, Acidic Slime, Dragon Lord Ojitai, Sun Titan, um, Tireless Tracker. Champion of of quits. That doesn't make any sense. It's just I literally just changed the name. There's no real, there's no real meaning behind that, unfortunately. And also, this guy is available in standard, so that's not really a modern inclusion. Scavenging Ooze, Fauna Shaman, and Voice of Resurgence, along with Hedron Crabs to help fill the graveyard, which is a little better than um, like something like Stitcher's Apprentice, I would imagine. Stitcher's Stitcher's Stitcher. Is it is it Apprentice? Am I did I get it right? Supplier, Stitcher's Supplier. Oh man, who even knew? Who had who knew? <clears throat> okay, so uh, Hedron Crab is filling the graveyard. The only thing I don't like is Hedron Crab and Tigam scheming is a little bit iffy. I feel like there are better green cards than this, like, um, like, I feel like Seder Wayfinder is just better than this, isn't it? <clears throat> Sarah, had you considered Seder Wayfinder? Let me know. Uh, you may put a land card into your hand among them. So you just play this guy, you get a land, you get, you get to put a land in your hand. So, like, unlike Tie Game Scheming, let's say you put all five of them in the graveyard, right? <clears throat> I guess this does help you put like a gate to the afterlife on top. I feel like there's got to be a better way though. There's got to be a better card. There's got to be a card that puts cards into the graveyard and puts cards into your hand. Also, this deck seems like it would definitely get better from Surveil, right? Um, Sun Titan is also great because it can get back a gate to the afterlife and then it can get back a God Pharaoh's gift, so that's pretty cool. My concern is that modern is pretty aggressive towards artifacts, but I think I think that could be fine. Ancient stirring is anything doesn't anything it doesn't grab is uh does ancient stirring put cards in the graveyard? Stirring doesn't put cards in the graveyard, right? It just puts cards in the under the bottom of the under the bottom of the library. Yeah, that doesn't put anything in the graveyard. Commune also doesn't. Oh, Commune with the Gods puts cards in the graveyard. Commune with Nature goes in the bottom of the library. Okay. Yeah, so Commune with Dinosaurs goes in the bottom of the library. Commune with Nature goes in the bottom of the library. Apparently, Commune with the Gods is the only one that puts cards in the graveyard. Yeah, these are both sorceries. <clears throat> they both cost two. You both look at five cards. Put any number of them in your graveyard and the rest on top of your library and anywhere. The problem is you wanna you do wanna set up like a gate to the afterlife with this card. Right? So <clears throat> This is my most suspect card. This is the most suspect card. I, I can I, I I don't know what to do with it. I just don't like it because it doesn't do anything. I can see you want to put this on top or like. How do you feel about Trophy Mage? Have you tried Trophy Mage to get the gate to the afterlife? Because if the if the point is to get the cards in the graveyard, um, Seder Wayfinder is just going to do that better. 
right? And it also gets the land for you. If the if the if the idea is to get cards in the graveyard and make sure you're gonna just top deck a gate to the afterlife, <clears throat> that could also be good. So what I would do, I'd put. Do we have a way to search for a trophy mage though? That's interesting. Because then you just have like <clears throat> six gate to the afterlifes, right? I mean, theoretically, Trophy Mage is probably better than the third, than the fourth gate. I'm going to try Wayfinder off the top. The deck only has 22 lands as well, so being able to hit lands just so you can cast these more expensive guys is probably where you want to be. And I'm going to take out the Schemings for now. We'll see how that goes. This is the first time I've ever done this before. Maybe not the first time, but I, it's rare that I... Um, it's rare that I change things before match, but Tie Game Scheming is a card that you look at and you're just like, it doesn't do anything. <clears throat> and like, these are that's one of those cards that like you strictly avoid in competitive play. What is, what's going on with these hairs? Stray hairs over here. The hard part is not agreeing. Alright, we did it. Alright, so let's give this a go and see... I like everything that's happening in the deck. I like what we're doing here. Oh, we're playing against America. America! I will play first. Oh, we got a Trophy Mage already. And a God Pharaoh's Gift. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Look, the two changes that we made are in our hand. That's great news. Okie dokie. Alright, let's see what happens here. This is exciting. I mean, the good thing is they have a limited window to really deal with this. Like, even if it, if they don't deal with it on the exact turn we play it, it's... I put one Trophy Mage because I feel like it's one Trophy Mage is probably better than the third... Or than the fourth uh, Gate to the Afterlife. If we put two Trophy Mages, we do kind of run more of a risk of just them, them being blanks and not hitting anything. And then if you have three Trophy Mages in one gate, then you're just going to draw the gate and never actually find anything with a Trophy Mage, which makes it pretty mediocre. I like I just like Trophy Mage as the fourth gate to the afterlife. <clears throat> oh, I see what we're doing here. I understand. It's all clear to me now. Let's see how many times we hit gate to the afterlife here. Once. So far, once and zero creatures. How many creatures are in the deck? That's another question I have. 20, 29? That's a good amount. I don't know how many of the standard lists are on, but 29 seems pretty high. So. da <clears throat> Uh, well, not blocking that guy, so I guess we'll just take an, 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 an infinite million there. Um, I'm actually just going to get a basic land here. I don't really feel like taking infinite damage. Uh, what do we have double of? Sun Titan is double white. And we have no double green. And we can also get a white with this, but not with this. So we're going to just get this. We're going to trophy base. We have zero creatures in our graveyard, which is pretty rough right now. I am not a fan. All right, trophy mage already uh, <clears throat> a, a nice a nice improvement, so that's good. Double blocking here seems nice, especially if they can't discard anything. But the odds of them not being able to discard anything is pretty low. Elcarp, thank you so much for saying so. Really appreciate it. Definitely one of the more enjoyable things about stream for me as well as engaging with the audience because otherwise I'm just sitting here talking to myself. And come on, that's not fun for anybody, unless you're crazy, in which case, no judgment, but you would probably, uh... <clears throat> yep. 
the old flame wake phoenix really alrighty then Oh, are you going to discard a thing? Oh, Lightning Bolt into this guy. All right. Seems good. Let's, let's draw a Hedron Crab off the top. <clears throat> One time Crabby. Well, this is getting worse, surprisingly. Hmm. Well, that is not a Hedron Crab, nor is it anything we can do. All right, so we're going to go to the next game here. And uh, Hedron Crab would be great because we can ideally fill our graveyard and also play Gate this turn. Uh, I don't know if that would actually keep us in the game, unfortunately. Oh, uh, boy. Definitely bringing in Supreme Verdict here and Wrath of God. Yeah, I liked voice because it's just two it's just two bodies. Like, I mean it still blocks twice, but you might be right. Scavenging ooze is very good. <clears throat> I don't think we care about dispel, we don't care about caterpillar. Negate is no. Blessed Alliance could be good, but then they just sacrifice like a flame wake phoenix or something. It's not ideal. Tracker seems a little slow, but we don't want to cut our creatures. Like we already cut uh two creatures, and like we really don't want to go solo because we want to build a fully graveyard. Yeah, this hand's good. I'll keep this. You can also just discard a tracker. <clears throat> champion? What about champion? What are you saying right now? Oh, I see. Lay a line of the void. Well, that's pretty unbeatable. Is it fine? It doesn't feel... I don't think we have any way in the main deck to deal with that. It's pretty bad. Well, that's an interesting choice. Is it? Is it an interesting choice? Oh, Tireless Tracker was the good one. <clears throat> that's the one we wanted. I'm just going to play this guy. I'd like to keep up a green when I play Scavenging Ooze. For obvious reasons. Yeah, we're definitely exiling that. They also have one land, which is kind of funny. Let's get a Sun Titan is not going to be great. We want a second white and a second green. We'll just get Temple Garden. Let's get your Blood Ghast, I guess. Flame Wake Phoenix is... <clears throat> Blood Ghast is probably coming into play this turn if you play a land, so... Yep, that's fine. 
You discard two, you play a land, a hollowed one. You don't have the mana for Flame Wake Phoenix this turn, which means we'll just eat that next turn as well. Well, now we're bringing in Caustic Caterpillar, that's for sure. Oh, another Bloodgast. How oh, nice. I will block. They do have Lightning Bolts, so I guess we're just hoping they don't Lightning Bolt us. Man, they got Ancient Grudges in here, too. Woo! Wow. <clears throat> that was pretty good. Exactly the number of cards you needed. Super nice. Where are my lands at? See you later. Oh, nice. Street Wraith. Sure. Hmm. Fetch land would be nice to make a tireless tracker. Maybe we can tireless tracker otherwise, but. Street Wraith sounds delicious. He drawn crab. So we're going to hope to hit a green here. We can actually discard He drawn crab and gate uh, because they're not going to do anything. Yes. That's actually perfect. Um. Do we actually, I forgot that I forgot we didn't have a graveyard. That's really sad on my part. Uh, I was like, oh, we can exile one of our own creatures that we discard and then have a 5-5 five -five to uh, pressure their hollowed one, but that's not how that works. So. But we are out of the range of Lightning Bolt, which is nice. Sure. Street Wraith, Bloodgast. Oh, yeah, we're going to eat that dude for, for sure. Oh, but then they just crack this. Yeah, that's actually fine. If we try to exile it now, they just crack it in response. I'd rather exile the Street Wraith. Elkarp, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. So you have one blocker. Nope, that's not going to do it. Let's use a black mana here. Okay. Well, that seems good. Are you dead? Dead through a ley line of the void. Seems good. Magic is a fun game. Uh, I don't think I care about acidic slime. I actually acidic slime kills their their dudes. This also kills hollow ones. I don't know if that's great. I'm going to take out two Hedron Crabs, bring in two Caterpillars. I kind of like this Sigarda in here, just because like she just blocks everything. Also, scavenging is MVP. I don't really care about Crypt. Like, I don't think their graveyards are that exciting. Plus, like, everything they have in their graveyard, they use really quickly. Like, if they get a Bloodgast in their graveyard, they're going to bring it into play that turn. So we either have to use it at that moment. It's just really easy to play around. Um, as opposed to, like, 
you know, if they have a Flame Wake Phoenix, they're going to get at that combat, so then we have to take it take it that turn. If they Faithless Looting, they've already gotten half of it. So, like, if we... We get, like, half of Faithless Looting. Um, the only thing Tormod's Script really does is kind of slow down Gurmag Angler a little bit. But that's really not a super large concern. Oh, we just submitted 61. I don't even care, dude. 61 it is. This hand is good. Keep. <laughs> sure. Seems like it did well for you last game. Yeah, cutting a God Pharaoh's gift was probably correct, but uh, it's gonna be a hedron crab. It's not a hedron crab. Now we're just looking for a uh, caustic caterpillar. I would also take a tireless tracker. Here we go. Yep. <sighs> Seems must be nice. Must be nice. Thrag Tusk goes away forever. Champion of Wits is nice. We can discard two lands here. I assume we'll be blocking. I don't. I don't think we're going to beat this uh, ley line this this time. Take four. Play a blocker. Take four. Play nothing. Take eight. Play Thrag Tusk. Why is Stoneforge Mystic banned? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I don't understand it either. Yep, taking 10 seems like a bad deal. Sure. Must be nice. I wouldn't know, but seems nice. Nope, that's not what we wanted. All right, well, we were going to try to get a forest there, but the hitbox is so extremely small that sometimes you just sometimes you just don't have any forests to get. So we take four, five, six, seven this turn. Yeah, we're just going to... This game's over, unfortunately. Um, would have drawn a Stirring Wildwood. Not ideal. All right. So... Aren't there better cards than Hedron Crab? Hedron Crab just makes me sad. Because it just doesn't do anything. You know what I mean? Like all the cards in the modern god in the standard Godfarer's gift version all do something, right? Like Champion of Woods does something. Stitcher Supplier can at least like it gets six cards in the, I don't know. Her Hedron Crab is just I guess it does when it's in the graveyard. <laughs> Alright, we'll leave the crabs in there. Um, I did like the Trophy Mage a lot. It is a one drop. I guess that's true. Yeah, I don't know what I would cut here. I'm just going to play it like this. I do like uh, Mold Drifter a lot because it does... Um, you can play it for three, and then you just have a Mold Drifter in your graveyard to invoke. I don't know if you want Birds and Noble Hierarch, though. I always get real reluctant, but then again, I think Birds is a 4 4 flyer with a God Pharaoh's gift, so I mean, you know, it's not useless. Oh, look, we did it. I'll keep this hand. We're gonna go crab. We're gonna crab it up on turn one. <laughs> Actually, we're probably just gonna play crab on turn two. We're gonna get a breeding pool. Need a blue. Yeah, we'll get a breeding pool here. 
There's no reason to take two and play Crab because then they can just Lightning Bolt Crab, Fatal Push Crab. Have I seen Gristlebrand 2.0? I don't think so. The problem is if we take out crabs for birds, like our main engines for getting cards in the graveyard are two champions and four satyr wayfinders, which are not ideal. We're gonna mill ourselves. One down, one crab down. Oh, I didn't know I didn't know how committed you were to the crabs, by the way. I just wasn't sure. Some people get really defensive about their crabs. Like I think ordinarily you're going to be hitting six to nine cards with a crab. Maybe more, maybe an excessive amount more. I wonder if they kill it in response to this. I can't imagine they do. <laughs> yeah, here we go. The Brep Decay, you're a Hedron Crab. They're just going to make life so sad for us. Yeah. That's still two creatures. I don't know if that's good or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just going to play Gate here. Maybe. Two creatures in the yard. I guess we want to play gate when it's not uh, super susceptible to... I, you want to play gate when there's six creatures and you can just activate it immediately. But, I mean, the ability is nice. Like, if they kill a creature, you get to loot and uh, gain a life. Problem is we have no creatures on board right now, so I can't see the... It's mana efficiency mostly. Like, you want to... We have three lands, so we can play this. Next turn we'll have four lands, so we can play two guys. Like, it's all about the mana efficiency, but... What is even happening right now? Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. Okay, well, you're going to play Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot and then you're going to kill the dude with the Hedron Crab? You have no class, my friend. Glassblower's Puzzle Knot? Oh, we are going to see some some uh, Aetherworks Marvel ha shenanigans happening. Oh, this is nice. I'm a fan. Unfortunately, as you can see now, we have no way to actually get creatures in the graveyard. I think you want the full set of champions. I don't think it's possible for them to Emrakul us because we have uh, the heart of the cards on our side. So, definitely worth noting. Steam vents. That's so you can play all the good energy cards leading up to your either works Marvel. Yep. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. All right. So next turn we're going to either works marveled. They're going to tap a green to ancient stirrings if they don't have it. Also, don't want to be uh, eating your own cards. Your, your own creatures, even though they're good for you. Because you have Gift Gate to the Afterlife here. Hmm. Well, that's fascinating. Alright, here we go. We'll keep this up. We can get a Hollowed Fountain. Stand in the place where you live. Is this how they tell us we're dead? I kind of just want to trade here. If three creatures, this would be four creatures. I'm just going to put this in the graveyard. I think the Thrag Tusk is better in hand. 
if they for some reason don't have it they do that's why they killed the servant they don't need ancient stirrings to get it they just they just windmill slam it or they have another land also fine ancient stirrings no here we go they could whiff they could whiff it's a whiffable situation what's up on drum tuna here we go here we go This is the deck I was talking about making. I was like, I want to play Aetherworks Marvel in, in Modern. And, uh... Everybody laughed at me. Well, who's laughing now? I actually like Sigarda. Sigarda can uh, get around the old Emrakul. Search your hand, too. Yeah, alright, that's sweet. I, you, only, you probably only need one God Pharaoh's Gift. Don't care about paths in this matchup, I don't think. By the time we have a cost of caterpillar, it's too late. We just want to be able to negate the uh Mother of God. I will play first again. Yeah, we'll keep this hand, this value hand. Actually, what's the standard card they use? Strategic... Strategic planning? Like, this is top three. Tie game scheming is top five, right? Um, but you can put any one in your hand and the other two in the graveyard. Like, that just seems... Even that seems better than, than scheming. It's two fewer cards, but one goes in your hand. So... That's big game. I'm in the mood for Hungry Howie's now? Oh, because of the Hungry Howie's mode? That's funny. Man, that's good. That's good brand. Ding. Branding. Also, Fauna Shaman is nice because she can actually search out... Um... The, the trophy mage. Tie game scheming does not draw you a card. You didn't... Oh, you didn't know this. Oh, that's funny. No, it literally does nothing. It's look at the top five cards, put any number in your graveyard, and the rest on top of your library in any order. It's... That's it. It's just... Oh, okay. And then that's it. Have you been drawing a card with it? Oh man, it'd be so good. That's like just a strictly better impulse if you could look at the top five. Put put them anywhere you want, on top, in the graveyard, and then draw a card. Oh wow, that's just that's just impulse. Oh, this makes much more sense now. I don't like Thought Scar because you can't choose the um You can't choose the cards that you're putting in the graveyard, right? Like, I mean, with Champion of Wits, you can. With Strategic Planning, you can. Even with Scheming, you can. Hedron Crab is the same way, but... Um... Hmm. How do we not lose next turn? Well, I guess they'd have to play some, some real shenanigans. Well, it doesn't matter if we take that. Next turn, we can just go... We can just play Tireless Tracker this turn. Next turn, we can Crab play this. I think we're going to have to do that. Please. I don't know if I was destined for the Pro Tour. That took a lot of work. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. Negate one time. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. So we play Trophy Mage. I think we have to wait a turn.
There's a gate. Are we dead? Digging for a gate doesn't help because we don't have the mana for it. I mean, we could have done it. We could have uh, not played crab, but... I do want to keep this up. Might as well at least play like we... We're not dead next turn. They could always whiff. They could whiff. It is possible for them to whiff. Just believe in the heart of the cards. I want to be the very best. Like no one ever was. them is my real test to whiff in. Don't play a miracle off the top. There's nothing in the. Yes! That is just fine. Yeah, I got him. You done messed up, hey, Aaron! Now we can get rid of another creature, get our trophy mage. I don't really care about scavenging you in this matchup. Let's get a trophy mage. Hello again. Hello. Thank you. Evil Monkey, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Well, we're always going to play this, then we're going to mill ourselves. One, two, three, four. Four creatures. We're getting real close, guys. Real close. See, we can't attack with this Hedron Crab. It's unfortunate. He's trying his best. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's fair. Boop. One. Do we actually play this or just discard a creature? I think we just discard a creature. All right, we get one more turn. I think we could be okay if we get a turn. I think. I think you really want four champion of wits in the deck. Oh, God. Everything's happening. Yep. Five energy. Activate this. Six energy. Activate this. It's a thousand energy. All right, I think we got lucky once. Is this seven cards? Six cards. Okay, six is so much better than seven. What up, smoking dope 420? <laughs> yep, here we go. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. The worst part is they get the free turn. Like it's it is ca it's it's cast. So yeah, I don't see why why either works Marvel is not played in modern. I think it's a I think it's an awesome card and you get to activate it before they get to do anything. And they're never going to care about your other bullshit cards like puzzle on stuff, so. Who's that Pokémon? Hazard was only 17 cents and I picked one up on on here yesterday and I was like that's amazing. Oh, I got four either works Marvel. I'm good to go. I am good to go. G2G. The argument I've heard is that Marvel is too slow. 
I mean, from who? Like, you literally played on turn four and activated immediately. Plus, like, Wood, Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot gives you mana, like... I don't think you'd get wrecked by Hollow. And you just play, like, a... I don't think so. I don't think so at all. But you can't be you can't be defending uh, Aetherworks Marvel being too slow and then putting up a God Pharaoh's Gift deck. That seems too slow. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the crabs. I don't think they're hitting what you want to hit. I, they gotta go. I'm sorry, Krabbies. You, you were trying your best. Hmm. I like another Fauna Shaman. Fauna Shaman is actually pretty good because it gets you Trophy Mage, which gets you Gate. I also like another negate in the sideboard. I'm not a big Blessed Alliance fan. One ships from Marvel and something like a Breach deck anyway. Like if they stony, you have nothing on. Yeah, actually, you could just put Through the Breach in the deck as well. You could literally just play Aetherworks Marvel with Through the Breach. That seems amazing. Let's play that later. This is 59 cards and one more card. I'm not convinced we need four paths. Let's put the other path on the sideboard. We get two extra slots. Maybe it's just two birds. So now we're at 30 creatures, which means I think we went up one creature. I don't like Spellcaller in this deck because you're tapping out. Like, you're never going to have three mana that you didn't use. Like, this deck is wants to tap out every single turn and play creatures or, like, try to mill yourself. And, like, there's not going to be a turn where you don't tap out and you're like, I'll just do nothing on this turn and play a Spell Queller. Oh, uh, I don't think you want Gorgo's Vengeance in that deck because if your win condition is Emrakul, then it's like you don't... Like, it's just going to get shuffled back in. Like, you have no way to discard it. You don't have a way to put Emrakul into your graveyard. And then, uh, instantaneously, Gorgio's Vengeance at that turn. Because it's just going to shuffle itself. So, like, I mean, Through the Breach and Aetherworks Marvel is great. But I think Gorgio's Vengeance takes it to a really weird place that you're not really effectively... Plus, it makes the deck black when, when you can just have a Teamer shell with all the energy cards. I guess they did have Abrupt Decay, which is kind of weird. Yeah, Vengeance is an instant. Yes, that's that's the only reason it works with Emrakul. But the point, that's why I said you have to awkwardly uh, reanimate it instantly uh, in response to its trigger. But, I mean, the point is you don't have any way to discard Emrakul. So, like, you just can't get in your graveyard. I don't really want to hand with two Gate to the Afterlives and two five drops in Modern. This is probably better, but God Pharaoh's Gift is still rough. Each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. I will battle across the land. Searching far and wide. We're going to crack this despite uh, wanting to hit a land because we just, we want to be able to not take a million points if we do hit a land. Okay, well, we didn't hit a land. I need to queue with budget vamps so we can get a <laughs> Wow. That doesn't make any that doesn't make any sense. Got Gibson given Gorgeous Vengeance Breach, God Pharaoh's Gift, and Aetherworks. Like what other cards can you even fit in that deck though? <laughs> That's like a million cards. 
And I have four creatures and 24 lands. And that's my deck. Okay, well. I feel like we want a 23rd land in this deck as well. Like, we were having Hedron Crabs with 22 lands. Not ideal. Hmm. Look at this guy's weird beak. Oh boy. We're gonna we're gonna go to the next game. We're not gonna beat Infect when they have three one Blight Steel Agent. Okay. Whew. Bring in the other path. Okay. Okay. I don't like the two God Pharaoh's gifts. I don't think it's necessary. Right? Like, if this goes anywhere, if it's in your hand, it's in your graveyard, or it's in your library, you can search for it. I don't think you need two. I want to cut one for a land. That seems better, right? You cut the seven drop for another land. Because that's what the standard decks do. Uh, we just we literally just played against Leyline of the Void, and we went uh, one two against an active Leyline. So, yes, it definitely can. You just play your cards. You have Tireless Trackers, Thrag Tusk, Citadel Slime, Dragon Lord, like you just play your creatures. Yeah, don't think that because the deck has a specific strategy, like, if it doesn't implement that specific strategy, you can't win the game. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, if you literally take out these four cards, like, your deck is just a Bant deck. Play your cards. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. It's tough. It takes years of, uh, play your cards practice. We'll keep this hand. Well, ideally you're going to be able to discard the five drops. You have four four Champion of Wits and uh, four Seder Wayfinders. So you should be able to put them in the graveyard. It just seems like we haven't actually had six creatures in the graveyard yet. We just have six star turn. That's sad. I was literally chatting with you guys, so I'm like, okay, yeah, la 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 la, I have six. Okay, not our finest moment. We're having a bad time here, guys. Yeah, that was pretty rough. What's the standard? What's the standard version used to get cards in the graveyard? So they have four strategic planning, four champion of wits, and four minister of inquiries. So they have 12 cards that put cards into the graveyard. Also, search for Escanta does it as well. One search for Escanta would be great here. Chart, of course, also lets you discard. Like, the whole deck is, is basically creatures and... Uh, the deck only has 16 creatures, which is interesting. This is the refurbished version, though, so maybe that's a little different. I'm trying to figure out how we survive here. Like, I just think we're stone dead to Blighted Agent. Like, we just have... Very few answers for for infect. I think by focusing on the value version of the deck, you're actually not 
But it's just you're never going to be able to get God Pharaoh's gift online. Like as as you've seen, like we just haven't had six creatures in our graveyard once. So I mean, like you're sacrificing six slots in the deck at least, like four, four and three, four and one, which was four and two, and uh, this is seven. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep, and probably dead. Yeah, this is dead. One, two, three. Yep. All right. Well, that was fun. I had a fun time. Okay. <laughs> this is not going, not going as well as we'd like it to go. Um. Hold on. Let's look up God Pharaoh's gift. Make sure we're giving this a. Let's look up this Sultai version of the deck. I think the reason, the other reason that they have two of these in standard is because you can actually get to turn seven in standard and just hard cast it. Whereas in modern, you're very, very less likely to. Uh, to draw a seventh, to 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 get to turn seven to, to play this, it's just not likely. Uh, I also think Tireless Tracker is way too slow. Like I don't know what we're trying to do with Tireless Tracker, but I think it's a much better sideboard card. I also think Relic is better than Tormod's Crypt. I'm never, I'm very rarely a fan of Tormod's Crypt because you can exile things slowly, and sometimes that's enough. Uh, if you really need... To. I guess it exiles your stuff, too, which is worse. Um, th I think there's got to be a better card than, than Relic, though. Or than, than, than Tormod's Crypt. And it might just be Scavenging Ooze. It might just be more Scavenging Oozes. I like two more Scavenging Ooze in the sideboard. Like, Tireless Tracker is good against the control decks, but it's not like putting anything in your graveyard is really the problem. I, I, hate, I hate Seance on Magic Online. Is it NCE? Oh my god. Like, how do you... I can't... Seance is almost impossible to find because it has an accent on it, which is actually unbelievable that they would program it in such a way. So I literally have to just, like, be, like... White? Can I... No? I don't know why you want white. Okay. Converted mana cost. Four... Rare enchantment. Well, that's subtype. We're going to go type. Oh my god. It's just the worst. Yep, and has an accent over the E. So you actually can't find it if you search for S E A N C E. Uh, let's see if I can copy paste that actually. Oh, wow. I'm, surprisingly, you can. That's, oh, that's ridiculous. The problem with Seance is that if you already have the creatures in your graveyard, uh, then you should be fine. Like, most of our creatures are mediocre and don't really want to be in the graveyard without getting the 4-4 bonus. We're not just trying to get them in the graveyard and get them back. I'm not just trying to get a Seder Wayfinder or a Noble Hierarch back onto the board. I'm trying to get 4-4s, four you know what I mean? Um, additionally, this is also going to be taking cards out of the graveyard, making Godfarer's Gift even worse, so... That is also a problem. I don't even think someone was at the door. I think you just used that as a joke. Who was at the door? Who just came to your door at 2 p.m. or whatever time it is there? So remember that time I used the uh, the somebody kill me meme? 
apparently the insole artifact deck that we did it was copyrighted somebody kill me i don't know why i did that uh by wmg so apparently that adam sandler song from the wedding singer got uh got copywritten got flagged so that's cool thanks youtube my mom with my lunch <laughs> mom where's my lunch all right uh so youtube making people afraid to use any sort of soundbite clips that's cool I hear you. I hear you. Oh, search for Ascanta. That's a card we want. Somebody kill me, please. Oh, yeah, that's probably not going to be the most efficient way to search. Let's 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 do a search for search for the word search. All right, two extra cards. Yeah, I don't I don't care about stirring Wildwood. I don't I, I'll be honest with you I'd rather just have more basics and things like things of that nature I'm trying to think what are there any Looting lands. I mean, other than like Desolate Lighthouse. I'm just going to play one more forest. Forests are great. We also have more scavenging ooze in the sideboard. Something like Thirst for Knowledge or something would be good. Gyre Reach Sanitarium. Never. Never putting that in the deck. Never. Like, I don't want to play a land and then spend three mana to make us both draw a card and discard a card. That actually is so good against for, cert for certain decks in Modern. Oh my god, giving certain decks in Modern an outlet to discard their cards and draw extra cards? Never. When are we going to have three free mana to do this? Never. Library of Alexandria seems real good. I'll play that in a heartbeat. I don't think that's going to work, though. On turn three. Okay. I mean, that's fair. I can't argue with that. All right. All right. All right. What are we doing here? What's the best draw discard spells in modern? I wish there was a site that I could just be like, you'll never believe these top ten draw discard spells in modern. Draw. Discard. Blue. White. Green. Allow partial matches. And modern. Search them. This is going to be a lot. 104? Alright, that's actually not terrible. That's not as many as I thought. Chart a course. Catalog. Draw two cards and discard a card. Not great. Compulsive research is fine. I'm not going to read that. Um, somebody kill me, please. Oh, I'm going to get demonetized. <laughs> careful consideration my only issue with careful consideration is that it costs four mana which is a lot what about oh what about this beefy boy he's not beefy at all he's a tiny little guy what about three jace vrin's prodigies oh that's a dude that's a card i want to see in this deck Let's give that a go. Put a bullet in my head. Uh, 
Wow. True story. Wow. That's something right there. All right. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's try this Jace Vrin's Prodigy tech. Let's add another breeding pool because we just added a, another green thing. We can take out one of these forests. All right. All right. How many creatures do we have now? I can close this. Yeah, that 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 was not a twenty nine. We're back down to twenty nine. All right, that seems fine. We can manage. Exelon Jace or Moody Jace? Let's see this Marvel Breach idea. Primeval Titan. I think you definitely want four Emrakuls because you're going to try to hit them off of Aetherworks Marvel. Like, it's not a search, so... Yeah, and if you have if you have Forethought not see, through the Breach, you definitely want four Emrakul because you just want it in your hand. You want to draw it. Uh, we'll be above 500 until October because of gifted subs. Oh, it's America again, so... Great great whatever Let's just play your stupid hollowed one deck goblin lore yeah sure I'm playing a tier one deck and I'm testing it in the two man queues whatever you want to do it's, it's your magic online we're just living it oh blood guest I'll play a land and I'll get a blood gas back. My deck is so efficient. All I do is discard the cards in my hand and put them into play from my graveyard. Thank you. you got it. Miles Black, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I think you might just want to board into a control deck after this and just be like, Wrath of God, Wrath of God. So I'm going to contest it. I'm not going to win, but. Well, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another modern video. Nope, can't block because of Menace. Great. Just great. It's just not even like these matches aren't even fun because these stupid decks like this deck is just not fun to play against why are we 61 still we added one path two of these we took out a are we at 61 cards naturally no okay Weird. Huh. Huh. What up, Josh? Good seeing you, buddy. Always a pleasure. I'm going to mulligan this hand. I will keep this. No beats with the gifted sub. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Like a hand of a voice of resurgence path four lands is just not going to compete with whatever this deck is doing. They just have so much more velocity in their deck.
See, like, even now we have zero creatures in our graveyard. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't know if Godfarrow's Gift actually does anything in Modern. Like, you have to make the entire deck Godfarrow's Gift centric. Like, we have one creature and they put it there with the Thoughtseize. Hmm. I mean, I'll try to Jace for a Flame Blade up sure. When they have nothing on board. Oh, here we go. Crack this. Play a Hollowed one. Gurmag Angler. You guys are being ridiculous right now. Uh, I'm just gonna pass in case until we can get this cryptic, this Thrag Tusk online. Just be grateful I didn't. Jun Coco sounds amazing. Why would I not want to play that? That's two great tastes that taste great together. Also, I'm not. It's not. I'm not upset. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to come to terms with the fact that, uh, with what this deck can or should be doing. Wow. All right, back at fifth. I think the issue's just too much green. Pull the green, go blue, white, and a couple of counter spells and Teferi or two. And what? But that's a totally different deck, isn't it? Like, what does Teferi do for the deck? Why wouldn't we just play Jace the Mind Sculptor? Well, yeah, that's why, that's why they literally have the Kappa on Twitch. That's why you got to use the Kappa, because otherwise people don't know when you're being sarcastic or when you're just making terrible suggestions. Because it's indistinguishable on most Twitch channels. This is land. Yeah, of course it is. The problem is we can't even attack here. Like, it's not good. Put a bullet in my head. Wow, aggressive. B, aggressive. B, E, aggressive. Sure. Ha <laughs> ha. So let's flip you. Probably should have attacked first, but what can you do? Oh, 
Alright, so I guess we're just hoping you don't hit a four power creature. No four power creature. Just cast that guy. Okay. We'll go to two, and then your last card's a lightning bolt. Your hand was lightning bolt, flame like phoenix, right? No! Get out of town. And we're dead if they hit any five power, four power creature, so. Looting. Put a hollowed one into play, get a flame wake phoenix back and kill us. This is our life. And it's ending one phoenix at a time. Sure. Why does it keep saying illegal attack? Shut up. <laughs> Come on. Shut up. Do we care about anything in the graveyard? Not really. I mean, they're at eight. We might as well get in there. We have a path, and another, another, another ground guys have haste, except for blood ghast, I guess. Put a bullet in my head. Oh, they didn't have another land. That's nice. Why do you keep attacking with this guy? Does it have to attack each turn? Okay. Oh, that's why I was saying illegal attack, because they had to attack with it. I get it. Any non-land would be great. Like, even now, like this far into the game, we have four creatures in our graveyard. Unreal. Where are my creatures at? See, now we don't have pass, so I'm not going to attack because I don't want to die to a blood ghast. And... We're really on borrowed time here. Oh, yep. That'll do. That'll do. I mean, we've top deck lands <laughs> for turns. Turns and turns and turns. Champion of Wits would have been nice. Draw two. Discard both lands. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Yikes. I don't like... The cards themselves aren't bad. Flashing back Path of Jace doesn't do anything, though. Like, we already have the guy on lockdown. It's an 0-2. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't do anything. You kill Gurmag? Yeah, but it's they're going to get back... No, they're going to get back Flame Wake Phoenix in the graveyard that turn. Like, that turn, they're going to trigger Flame Wake Phoenix and attack with it. It has haste. We're dead on board. We don't get another turn. They had another Flame Wake Phoenix in the graveyard, and they were going to kill us with it. And they were going to kill us with it. problem with taking the Wayfinders out is that we just... Yeah, obviously I would have killed... Yeah, but here's the thing. If we path the Gurmag Angler with Jace, then we also haven't neutralized the other 2-2 that they have on board. So then we're dying to that one. So we're either dying to one of the three creatures that they have. No beats. You'll have to ask Sarah. It is not my creation. But, I mean, you can tell what the blue's for. You can see it yourself, right? It's right here, buddy. This has me stumped. I feel like it should be doing at least a little bit better. I think even mulch is better than... Uh, that's funny. 
Oh, mulch is pretty good. Mulch is probably better than Sitter Wayfinder. Yeah, I don't know. Now you want to play red? Jeez. Chris, what's going on, buddy? Like, I don't think I care about the one acidic, the random, like, there's a lot of random cards in here, right? Like, one random acidic slime, which I see that I was obviously in the Saffron Olive list as well. Oh, I mean, okay, so, no, what do you feel like is helping, though? Like, I don't feel like the green is helping, per se. I don't feel like the white is helping. But I don't feel like there's been any cost to the, to the other colors. In fact, I would say, like, Jace Friend's Prodigy did a lot of the work that that was done in the past, like, few matches, I think, in the last game. We already had the Landfall Crab. We actually took it out because I didn't think it was doing enough. Like, you could just as easily say the white's not pulling its weight. Three paths and one Sun Titan and one Dragon Lord Ojitai is not pulling its weight. Like, that's not doing enough. If you're Sultai, I think you're just... We're just playing the Saffron Olive list. Eternal Witness is pretty good. Interestingly, there's no champion of wits in this list, in this blue list, in this Sultai list. I don't know what voice is doing. Extreme value? I mean, a lot of times it's a 1-1 one, one or a 2-2. Two, two. I don't know if that's extreme value. Sorry, if we're actually just going black and using the cards you mentioned, we're literally just playing the same deck as the one posted on on uh, Goldfish. Like, I don't think it's ever wrong to innovate. I don't think that's correct. Don't, don't, let's not say that. I don't know what Thrag Tusk is doing for us, though. Like, I like Muldrifter because you can play it early and it gets itself into the yard. I think you cut the, uh, what did you cut the Muldrifters for? Something else? I think you just should have cut the Thrag Tusks. Like, you want to get creatures in the graveyard. Like, that's the 100% the game plan here.
I think if anything, the 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 white is uh, less good than the blue. Blue and green seem like your staple colors. I don't think I don't think uh, blue is a card a color you want to cut for this deck at all. Um, I don't think any of the white cards do anything either. They're all really cute, but like they don't do anything. Like Voice of Resurgence is cute, but it doesn't get itself into the graveyard. Path is great. Like Path is the one card I can see, and Dragon Lord Ojutai was also a new addition from you, and which I think is cute. Like I love Dragon Lord Ojutai, but like. I don't think you actually do need interaction. Like, I think if you have a bunch of creatures that get in the way of things, and and I don't think you really need path that much. Like, this is a combo deck. Like, you're trying to combo. Or you should be. All right. Um, I don't like voice. There's got to be a better option than voice. I like Rex Sage almost better than... Rex Sage is just better than Acidic Slime, right? Like, you can play it for three... Let's just make this blue white. What if we did just make this blue green? I said blue white, but I meant blue green. Josh, what's Sphinx? Can you can you be a little more specific? I don't actually know. Kasali Pride Mage is a little tough on the mana when Rex Sage does a very, very similar thing, and eh, it's not gonna be hard getting this guy in the graveyard either if we need it. Also, having Rex Sage in Modern is not really that bad. Actually, maybe we don't cut the white. Maybe we just... Oh, Curator of Mysteries. Hmm. Blue Hexproof Cycler? Which is that dude? Let's look up Cycle. I think it's the seven mana guy. We have Curator. Do I not have that guy? That seems strange. I don't have any boxes checked. Oh, it would say Cycling. Okay. Yep, that would make sense. All right. This guy, Striped Riverwinder. I actually like that a lot. Let's add four of that guy, and we'll add Curator as well. Curator cycles for one, right? All right, we're going to take out of the white cards. No longer a white stream. I, oh, Nimble Obstructionist could be good. It does cycle for three, though. This is actually 60 cards. Let's try it like this. We'll take out the white. Get out of here, white. Is Ipnu Rivulet good? Maybe. Definitely want botanicals. Another breeding pool. Flooded. We'll add two of this guy. And 
Add two windswept just to have more uh, fetchies. And I guess we can do one lumbering. All right, let's try this weirdo version. We'll take out these white cards in the sideboard. Or we could add like just a, uh, we have Noble Hierarchs, we could also add, we could just have some blue white shock lands just so we can have like rest in peace. But rest in peace is bad against us, so never mind. That's stupid. I'm stupid. Just 32 creatures. Maybe we do just want Hedron Crabs. Because this feels more streamlined. I think it depends on how many... No, I just like cycling this guy as a 4-4 Hexproof guy. Maybe? I don't know if that's strong enough. Fauna Shaman's been fine, because it lets you search for Trophy Mage, which then you can play for Gate to the Afterlife. I don't know what self-sacrificing creatures are there. We have Caustic Caterpillar on the sideboard, which you can probably cut one of. Yeah, but what are we playing birds in place of? Like, you have to suggest a cut if you suggest an add. We can probably put a Rex Sage in the sideboard. I just had Rex Sage in because uh, we just played against God Pharaoh's, uh not God Pharaoh's gift, uh, Hollow one like three times. So we also played against Aetherworks Marvel. So like, I mean, there's tons of things to hit with a Rex Sage in modern. If you guys don't think there's, yeah, same with Scavenging Ooze. Like a lot of these cards are great, but they don't do a lot. In the main deck. I agree with this. And, like, it's kind of misleading, right? Like, scavenging is in the main deck is, is interesting, but it doesn't further our goal. I'm not a click... I'm not a fan of click at all. Like, it doesn't do anything. Like, we want to be getting creatures in the graveyard. For three mana, like, we have so many other things to be doing for three mana. Did we lose a champion of wits? Huh. We can also search for a Rex Sage with a Fauna Shaman, which is nice. I don't think walking like I don't think we're gonna have enough mana to effectively use walking ballista. Like you'll have a walking ballista for one. Which I don't know. I just don't personally think it's that great. Um We have graveyard hate. We have scavenging use. Like, literally the best graveyard hate. Like, it's... Um, I don't like Tormod's Crypt because it's just worse than scavenging use, I think. And I don't like Relic because... Like, a lot of the other graveyard hate gets our gets our stuff as well. Which is not ideal. Um, I actually did up to four, though, because I do like scavenging use as graveyard hate. We also have a Rex Sage and two other Rex Sages and two Caustic Caterpillars. So that's a lot of artifact and enchantment hate, which is nice. Get something back. How about... Oh, I like you witness a lot. That's actually... What do we cut, though? I 
I think one e-witness is fine here. CTB, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Actually, we can cut the Jace Friends Prodigy, I guess. We'll add a second Eternal Witness. Maybe second as Kanta. No, we want more creatures. Maybe just another Mold Drifter, actually. Let's try it like this. There's a lot of three mana cards. Let's try it like this and we'll see. Do we actually fill the sideboard out? I think we need two more cards on the sideboard, don't we? Yeah. I don't know what to put in the sideboard. It might just be Thrag Tusk because of life gain. Or Kitchen Finks. Well, there were 13 in the sideboard, but I get your point. So Bant Gift has become Blue Green Gift. Let's see if we get to play against America again. America. Joke's on you. I put these reclamation stages in here for you. Heh heh heh. Nope, Dylan Lind. All right. Why is this so big? I don't know. Perfect hand. The most perfect hand that ever existed. Keep. What are the odds this bird survives? About zero. Wow. Well, they didn't kill it on their turn. It's a good sign. Well, now it's dead. Now it has died. Oh. This is the most creatures we've ever had. Three creatures in our graveyard, guys. Grim Flare. Okay. Well, as you can imagine, we have no way to deal with that guy. We have a lot of lands, though, so I really don't mind. Uh... Easy discards here. Ooh, boy. All right, so we have one, two, three. We can discard four. Fauna Shaman and what's our plan next turn? Just play Seder Wayfinder, right? Maybe discard two lands. We can go Wayfinder, Fauna Shaman. No, I think we want to keep two lands so we can go Gate into other thing. We'll get rid of Lumbering Falls for sure. We'll get rid of Fauna Shaman. Look at this weirdo mole drifter. It's got an it's got like four eyes. Oh, it's got like a million eyes. A million eyes. They're watching you. See, like you can see them. 
Here's an eye, an eye, an eye, an eye. And then they go all the way back. Here's an eye, here's an eye, here's an eye. And then it has a million eyes. I just want you guys to see my million eyes. Look with your million eyes. Joke's on you. I have a path to exile. Yeah, I'll use that ability. Now I just get the hard cast of Mull Drifter. Yes, sir. Butt eyes? Butt eyes. Oh, hold on. One, two, three. We got four creatures in the graveyard. Sorry, what were you looking up Gift of Gate to the Afterlife for? Still no delirium, huh? Well, that's too bad. Oh, now you'll have it. Congratulations. Two more dudes. All right, I'll take a Misty. So now we can go one, two, three. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do 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 -do. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't actually need to even play this untapped. We don't have to play Mold Drifter here. We can actually just. Oh, did I not update the list? My bad. You'll be fine. Um, like it gets another dude in the grave. It also gives us things to do next turn. But we're also probably we we're probably just doing this next turn, one hundred percent. So why not play it? Because we take two extra damage if we play it, and we already have six creatures in our graveyard. So like, I don't think it's worth the two extra damage here. Well, we played Seder Wayfinder for two because we wanted to be able to get cards in the graveyard. We wanted to get six creatures in here, and we and it worked out quite well. We hit a Rex Sage and, a, and another Seder Wayfinder, so. I should have attacked. I don't know. I, I didn't because I was like, well, I'm probably not going to block, so I might as well attack, but whatever. We're just going to get to the afterlife. The nice thing about God Pharaoh's Gift is that it does not get hit by Abrupt Decay. So, unless they have a Maelstrom Pulse on their turn, which they might, we should be okay. I guess they could have Assassin's Trophy as well. Wow, Assassin's Trophy seems busted, right? Like, it just kills everything. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, this is quite good. Search your hand and graveyard for a card. You may also search your library. Yes. Okay. Let's get Striped Riverwinder. Seems good. Lingering. Oblivion Ring. Oof. That's a good one. We do have a Rex Sage in the library somewhere. Where is my Rex Sage at? I'm gonna, I'm gonna evoke this guy. We wanna just try to find a Rex Sage, really. 
Well, that's half of a Rex Sage. We're going to keep this guy back as a blocker. Axel, I'll take a look at that deck in a little bit. Thoughtseize? Sure. Knock yourself out. Elf Shamans. And if they don't have a way to kill Fauna Shaman, it's pretty good. I imagine they do because they have no lands and four cards, so. And... Okay. Oh, we're doing well now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, we, we, we got the gas on now. Yep. Give me that back. Let us get... It's also choose. Uh, you don't target here, so it's actually pretty insane. All right, well, they just conceded, so that's cool. <laughs> I'll go back a 4-4 Mole Drifter with haste and draw two. Seems good. This also seems like a scavenging use matchup if I ever saw one. And I have... So we can just cut. We can just shave some of these guys if we're bringing in scavenging uses. Seems good, man. This deck seems amazing. Turns out once you focus on like getting creatures in the graveyard. Oh, uh, we only saw one Oblivion Ring. I, I don't know how many they have, but I think two Rex Ages in the main deck is. Probably good enough. <sighs> Especially with a Fauna Shaman. But we'll see. I can also see cutting a Curator for a Thrun. Yeah, I like that. Thrun seems pretty hard for them to deal with. Like Fauna Shaman because you can get Trophy Mage or you can get the other one. Yeah, this hand seems good. These are great because they let you do things. Like, they, they let you get a creature in your yard and they draw you a card. They get you deeper to the cards you want. And they have Hexproof, so when you get them on board... You know, good times. They went to six. I think we win. I don't think this hand can lose. Well, if they thought sees us and take Noble Hierarch, we're just going to play this first, so. I'll take two damage, you see. I'll take two more, you see. Oh, Relic of Progenitus. Well, in my face. Joke's on you. I could just play all these cards. I don't know if we can play these cards, but either way, we'll try. We'll give it a go with the old college try. Grim Flayer, can you flay my Grims? Can you flay them every day? I don't know. We're just going to play Noble Hierarch and Seder Wayfinder, I think. Let's get an island. 
Islands in the stream. Well, there's the there's the only God Pharaoh's gift. If they know that, it's pretty sad, but I don't think they do. There's also no creatures except for one Seder Wayfinder in the graveyard, so. Whatever, dude. Do what you want. This is the Maelstrom Pulse the Noble Hierarch, and then we just cry. The QQ is real. I will choose a flooded strand. I will choose a merry little flooded strand. See, now that we've seen Relic, I definitely want the Rex Sages in here. Rex Sage every day. I will take two. Man, if we top deck our Rex Sage, though, just to get rid of this Relic, that's pretty gas. Not really, because I guess they get rid of our God Pharaoh's Gift, which we only have one of, so... Never mind. We have to assume that God Pharaoh's Gift is not an option for us anymore. But... Oh, Lingering Souls, how nice. How nice. <sighs> Why does our opponent hate fun? These are the questions we ask ourselves. So you kept two on top, you put a Lingering Souls in the graveyard. Do you not have a land? You do have a land. Look at you. Look at you with your landy ways. Maelstrom Pulse is definitely QQ material. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, that's fine. Why did you put that into play untapped? I'm very confused. Do you just want to play Moldrifter here? Probably. We could play Bird and then if we hit any land, it's pretty good. We could play Bird Search. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Recycle this dude. Did we play a land this turn? We played an island. And we have one creature. If they really feel like they're going to be popping Relic or Progenitus this turn, that's a little bit ambitious, but... I don't really have any cards I want to get rid of with the champion, unfortunately. However, if we do draw a land, we can actually try to uh, activate champion next turn, just put a 4-4 into play, draw 4, discard 2. Because we'll have a bird, we'll have 6 mana, and then if we hit a land in the top 3 cards, we can just champion of wits. I'm not well versed in modern, so I have to do a quick double check to see if Q or not. Two hierarchs, no evidence of Phantasm image. Modern confirmed. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Right, that's what I mean. If he's worried about God Pharaoh's gift and we have one creature in our graveyard, I just don't think it's... Like, there's no way we can get five other creatures in our graveyard and play Gate to the Afterlife and play uh, and activate it in one turn. Like, that's just pretty ambitious. It might just be Moldrifter here. I think it's just Moldrifter. Alternatively, arr, we can cast this and then we're just literally next turn we can cast 5-5. Five, five. 
I think we're doing that. I think we're going champion bird. Yes. All right, we'll discard a champion and a search, I think. Every other card is very good for, very good for us. So now our other champion doesn't have to die. And search I don't really care about too much because, like, if they have Relic out, we're probably not being able to... Uh... Yeah, sure, definitely. We're probably not going to be able to cycle our... Flip it. Cycle our flip it. You know what I'm saying. So if they Maelstrom Pulse here, we still have six mana, which is a lot. I imagine they're going to pop the graveyard now because there's a champion in it. And they just gave us a seventh land. Still not going to block your 2 2. Throw it down, flip it, reverse it. <laughs> What is that from? Oh, man. That's good stuff. Oh, the old Missy Elliot. A classic. All right, they put a path in their graveyard. They put a Nihil spell. Wow, they went ham. They're like, you'll never have any graveyard cards. But that's it, huh? Keeping one on the top? Put two on top. Okay, so... Oh, they put the path was in there. They put the Nihil spell bomb in the graveyard. Cool. And we have two creatures and a, and a God Pharaoh. This is pretty nice, actually, because if they let us go to the main phase... One, two, three... Yeah, we're just champion of Witzing here. Yeah, that's... I, I was hoping they wouldn't know how this worked so that we get to uh, draw four and discard two. Yep, pretty easy discards here. Uh, we have more green, so actually we're just going to keep the Misty Reinforced. I don't think we have a reason not to just play bird here. Like, I don't think they're going to wipe the board in any way, but, you know, I don't think we have a reason to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll have 10 mana next turn. That's seven and three. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. 10 mana is better than nine. Don't do it. Abrupt decay on... Oh, on the token? Sure. That's fine. They have two cards in hand. They still don't have... You just gotta pop this, right? At some point, it's like, you just pop it. Sure. Joke's on them. We don't have another God Pharaoh's gift. They're at eight? How do they beat a Striped Riverwinder? <laughs> Which is a, f a funny thing to say in Modern. Uh, excuse me, Modern com competitor. How do you beat a Striped Riverwinder? Hmm. Think about that, nerd. I think Hunter told her heard me call someone a nerd. Oh, I see. I see. That card's hard to deal with, unfortunately. Yep, take another two. Also, birds are nice attackers now that they have just spirits. Is it over for who? I don't know if it's over for us or for them. Our hand is pretty stacked. We don't have an answer for Kalidus in these colors, though. It's going to be a land. 
I just feel it in my bones. Oh, a champion of champion of shits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so ten. We would have ten lands. We can go champion Riverwinder, but we can't attack with the bird if we do that. God, Kalidus is really hard on our lives. Yeah, I think we're just going to play Riverwinder. And the champion, uh, trophy mage, probably. Turn one corner to another. Uh huh. Well, because I said champion of shits? Come on. That's a real thing. Oh no, not a Liliana. Really? Really? She's gonna discard champion here. That's like a that's a perk almost. Attack with anybody, I dare you. I dare you. We could have just attacked with this, but they're still going to block the same. So I'd rather just keep the uh, the dude back. One, two, three, four, five. Easy mole drifter. Curator seems pretty good here. One, two, three, four. Just big floaty dudes. I'm just going to outvalue you here. Eh, might as well play land tapped. We can discard windswept teeth to uh Yeah, we're just gonna outvalue you. What is even happening? Curator, Mull Drifter, Striped Riverwinder. Woot woot! Hooty hoo! They have two cards? Shoot. We're just gonna go face now. No, we can't go face because they have Kalidas. Why aren't we playing a gate here? We don't have another another God Pharaoh's gift, that's why. And we also have one creature in the graveyard. Actually, being able to bring this guy back next turn is pretty sick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. Target player sacrifices a creature. Sure. Does it matter? 1-1. One, one. You got it. Enjoy your Kali Toss. Kalidus becoming a 5-6 is pretty bad, but I guess we can just block with these two. Neither can be fatal pushed. At the moment, currently, at present, what? Ooh, biscuits. Well, that's a thing. All right, you have no cards in hand. I like it. That's great for us. What does that get? Nothing really. Oh yeah, draw four, discard two. 1,000% doing that. So we can go, we can play you. Oh, Eternal Witness? Yeah, please. Get rid of Fauna Shaman, get rid of Gate here. Scry, bottom, scry, it doesn't matter. We're going to shuffle anyway, I believe. Go to your face, go to your lily.
crack this, get a land. One, two. Scavenging ooze. So you're in top deck mode and you're dead on board. Kind of. Oh, we're Sultai now, boys. <laughs> nice. Oh, got him. Got him. All right, so blue, blue, green is apparently the way to go. All right, that's cool what you did there, Hunter. That's amazing. Please stop. Go. Stop. All right. Anyway, blue, green is apparently the way to go. I think we can take one witness out and put one exclusion mage just because it gives us an answer to things like... Uh, like Kalitas, Kalitas. Uh, this was rough in the one match, but I mean, like, the odds of us milling it are not high. Especially if one is in the graveyard and they have something like Surgical Extraction. Like, you're not really vulnerable to it. It's just kind of a one-off, and we still got to outvalue them. Uh, this guy actually turned out to be very, very good. It's a very, very hard to deal with creature, because if you can hard cast it. And even if you get it back with a Godfarer's Gift of 4-4 four, four with Hexproof is pretty huge. This card also turned out to be pretty good in that last round. Um... I kind of like this deck now. I think it's cool as, as a blue-green deck that just tries to like put things in the graveyard really efficiently. And both of those games, we were it was very easy to put things in the graveyard. Uh, Rex Sage also pretty useful against some of the combo decks or some of the quicker decks like uh, Hollow One or you know Aetherworks Marvel. <laughs> so I like Nimble Obstructionist as well, but I mean it costs three mana to to do that. And I don't I don't I think it's it's, it's a real magical Christmas land situation where you're going to have three mana up in, at any given time. This deck taps out every single turn. You're tapping out for Champion of Wits. You're tapping out for Curator. You're tapping out for Seder Wayfinders. You're you're cycling things like, you're playing a gate and then activating it. Like you're never gonna have you're never just gonna have three mana up and you're passing the turn when they play an O ring. Like it's just very very uncommon, which is why you have proactive threats rather than reactive threats like Rex Sage. So, um, you know, I think that's a little bit. Uh, a little bit where I sit there. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you appreciate it. And uh, I appreciate it. Really hope you enjoyed, rather. Uh, Sarah, hopefully you got some ideas here. Um, hopefully this is a little more in the vein of what you were trying to do. And I, I think I think it works better without the white. I think the white was just trying to trying to be cute. I think you just took a lot of the black cards and then took them out and replaced them with white cards or, or different blue-green cards. And um, I, like the, I like Curator Mysteries a lot. I think it's pretty sweet. I think it's just a 4-4 flyer in modern, which is not not terrible. Sometimes you just win games with 4-4 flyers. I also do like the Fauna Shaman package because Fauna Shaman being able to get Rex Sage, Eternal Witness, Exclusion Mage, or Trophy Mage is pretty good. And you can also just get a Striped Riverwinder and then cycle it and puts two creatures in the graveyard that way unless you draw a card. So a lot of different options there. Um... Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. If you guys want to have your own deck critiqued, check out my Twitch profile or my Patreon page. They're, both of the links are in the description below. You can do that. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.